All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, here at Clinton High School this morning. This is Jack Snellgrove signed in the tent to continue his education and soccer career over at USC Union with the Bantams. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Um, just first, kind of going to kind of what led you to go to Union, what was it about them that really stood out the most? Um, well, I didn't want to go to a school that was so big that the class size would be like 200 or so, you know, those big classes and stuff like that. But it gives me a, like a real nice, it, it makes me feel like I'm still in high school, kind of, mm -hmm. because those classroom sizes are enjoyable and you can get a lot out of talking to the teachers instead of just being another number in the classroom. So you're looking for something that's kind of comparable to what you have right here? Yes. Okay. Um, who else showed interest besides you? Um, I didn't really put myself out there so much. I saw where there were a couple coaches that had looked at me, but only Union had actually like taken the steps to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. And then um, like a day or two after I went to Union one day to actually like sign for them with the coach and everything, I got a text from USC Salkahatchee and they expressed some interest in me. And they were like, you know, just do you know where you want to go to school yet? And I was like, yeah, I got to I'm going to sign already. Okay. Uh, what stood out from your your official visit? Like when you talked to the coaches, what really jumped out? Um, it's just he he actually he played soccer too in uh, college, but then he ended with an injury, and because he was playing D one, I believe, uh, he the coaches just kind of threw him aside. They didn't like give him that, you know. Oh, we're gonna be here for you, and so that's what he wants to do. Is he wants to be there for the players and like not not um, kind of push you away if anything happens. Now you're going there, play a little soccer, but you're also going to continue your education. Have you thought about a major and what you might want to major in? Um, of course, I'm, it, you never know because it could change, but right now I'd like to go into computer information systems. Um, and so that's what my first choice would be right now, but you know, it's two years from now, so. You never know what might change. Right now, do you have any idea what that would lead to as far as a profession? As far as profession, it'd be a computer systems manager. And so I'd just be managing you know, a computer system for a company or something like that. And so, yeah. Where has your game improved the most over the last year or so? Over the last year or so, um, I've just learn to be more aggressive like with the ball and such because I back in ninth grade I used I was kind of I was a good bit smaller than I am right now and so I didn't have that strength to be able to play like you know consi consistently on the field like starting but now the past two or three years I've gained some strength and then I'm consistently starting and playing full matches. And it's really full body strength, right? You have to have the legs to run, mm -hmm. you got to have the arms to yeah. push, exactly. lung capacity, and that, mm -hmm. is that what attracts you to soccer? It's a full body kind of um, um, sport? No, what first attracted me to soccer was just, it started off as, you know, somebody from our school was like, hey, do you want to go play soccer? Mm -hmm. There's a group of people going to play. And so I went out and played one day, and I was like, hey, this is pretty fun. And so I've just been doing it since. What's your, what's your best memory? Uh, of your days here? Uh, at Clinton High School yeah. or just in general? At Clinton. Okay. Um, it'd be, I think it was my 10th grade year, I believe. We had, there was a, um, one of my friends who was a junior that year, his name's Hector. He won our last game of the season on penalty kicks and we were just over the moon. All right, well again, we want to congratulate you. Good luck to you, but let's get this senior season out of the way first. Yep.